Democrats. Nancy Pelosi said there's nothing that she could work on with President Bush. Oh, no this is Mike. NoStressMike.com. Yeah, we're going to do a little bit of a education type thing here. Uh, I wanted to show you. You see this? See that cow? Okay, that one is not accepted by those. It's not a, talking about the, the pecking order or uh, like they talk about uh, uh, where somebody is on the totem pole. And uh, that one is on the bottom. You see, she's smaller. She's smaller than all these. Uh, they just they won't let her eat. And uh, at one time we had her uh, separate from the others. And uh, it was the same thing. She just never wanted to get in gear. We thought we'd have her separate and try to fatten her up, get her bigger, and then maybe she might hold her own. But it didn't didn't work out that way. Now, and the reason I'm even talking about this is I've uh, got a neighbor, and the neighbor's got some chickens. And I was over there this morning, and they had one chicken that was clear in the corner of the of the of the pen, and uh, that chicken just just stayed there, and it was almost like it was in fear, you know. And I said, "Well, what's the story on the chicken?" And then. Uh, uh, she was telling me that the the chicken that was the only chicken that that hatched from that bunch and uh, All the other chickens, you know pick on her, you know, like I say the pecking order that, I think that's where the, the saying the pecking order came from and uh, uh, So I come over here and we started talking and it, It's the one I'm working with had other critters. And I've been asking him. He had chickens. He's got pigs. He's got all kinds of stuff. Or had one time. And uh, to talk him, you know, well, is, is all the animals like that? And uh, you know, in the animal world, they it turns out, you know, they really are. And I'm just guessing, but I'd say probably the wild animals is pretty much the same thing. That's where you hear about the runt. And. Uh, you know, the runt's a little small one, just didn't get enough. A lot of times, um, there, now, I don't know if, you know, I'm not, I'm, I'm still figuring all this stuff out myself. And I don't know if they were born weaker or if they were uh, intimidated or something, you know, pushed off, you know, when it was time for milking for mama, you know, they didn't get a, they didn't get a, a good nipple, so, and it just they just got in the habit of being victimized. And in the, the wild kingdom, this well, this critter is eventually going to be the weaker one, and eventually, it's not going to make it. Um, like like this particular, on on cattle, it'll be a little different because uh, we're gonna let's. Uh, that's a milk cow and so uh, they'll probably go on and let it because we supervise them we take care of them we'll probably go on and get some weight on it and eventually it'll, it'll be able to uh, either milk or have a baby or if not well, you know it'll, it'll be some hamburger or something you know so but the thing is it made me start thinking you know, I'm sure there's a lot of people that uh, feel like they're on the bottom of the of the totem pole or, or the pecking order, or however you want to call it. And uh, you've heard me talk about there's uh, well, you well you notice I don't follow the rules all that good, and uh, and the reason is. Whenever I follow the rules, 
it always seems like I'm on the bottom of the pole. <laughs> so, and it's hard to um, uh, to better yourself if you are the one that's going to be victimized all the time. So, what I learned is I learned the rules, but I don't so much. Well, I, I learn the rules so then I can figure out if I want to play the game. Uh, I mean, if I'm going to uh, work for somebody, I start working, I uh, learn the rules. If, I can, if it sounds like a kind of a game I want to play, then I'll stay. If not, I'll move on. And uh, I basically do that in all aspects of life. I learn the rules, but not so I can play by the rules. I learn the rules so I find and figure out if I even want to get in the game. And this is why you, you find a lot of my um, videos kind of odd, because I, I look at things odd. And, uh, you know, okay, just like, you know, I say, don't have any money, I got gold and silver. And, you know, yes, it's a little more difficult Using gold and silver, uh, you can't buy stock, you can't buy fancy houses, you can't buy fancy cars. There's a lot of things you can't have when you're, when you're dealing with gold. But, like I say, through the years, I've watched people that have had uh, fancy houses and a shitty marriage. <laughs> so, in other words, the fancy house... Uh, or the fancy car or, or, you know, all the stock, your investments and all this stuff. None of that does anything to get you closer to uh, a guaranteed great life. Uh, what I've learned for me to get the most out of life, more than what people even think, you know, a lot of people don't even think about a lot of the stuff that I get into. And that's because they are playing another game, and they are focused on that game. They uh, they make judgments uh, according to that. Uh, that's why I really don't feel sorry for people uh, if they have hard times, if they're going through, you know, whatever kind of stuff it is. Because at some time they had choices to make, and. I guess they liked that game that they were in because they stayed in that game. And, uh, but I say for me, it's, I've, and that's why I get into different games, but I'm not, I don't just play one. And, uh, but like I say, I'm not restricted. That's the difference between us as humans than, uh, the animal world. And, uh, it's even more, it's uh, more of a, I don't know how you call it, uh, well, as being an American. Um, like I say, I've, I've been to a few countries, and one thing I've, I've noticed, they all try to fit in. They all try to do what they're supposed to do. And... Uh, that's right back to what I always talk about, morals. I try to focus on morals. I have to do the right thing morally. And uh, I try my best on the legal stuff. And I try my best on, if I'm a cow, I'm going to try my best to try to get along with the cows. If not, I'll move on to another herd. Why? Because as a human, we have choices. And it's, I'll tell you what really, it's really kind of bad. And I, same thing, I, I carry a gun, just especially for those humans that, well, they've, they've had it hard. I mean, they've, they've been on the bottom of the totem pole. They're, they're being picked on all the time. And what happens eventually, not always, I guess, but uh, they, well, either they live a, a shitty ass life or they will, like my friend said, they'll pick up an AK 47 and start hurting people. So, in other words, they get a belly full 
and instead of trying to look for ways not being in the pecking order they just stay in the pecking order and their life becomes miserable and just doesn't seem like it's going to quit and the reason why it doesn't seem like it's not going to quit because it won't it's going to continue being shitty because you continually make shitty decisions you have to realize you are a human and us humans that are Americans are even better. We have a choice. We can think outside the box. We can make decisions. We don't have to be picked on. We can make decisions. I mean, I have people that say, well, you know, I'm in a poor neighborhood. Get out. <laughs> don't stay there. You know, I mean, what kind of idiot would stay in a place? Why would you want to stay with these, with these critters? Why? You don't. You'd want to get the hell out. They don't have a choice. They're animals. They're stupid animals. You a stupid animal? Think. Make decisions. Take personal responsibility. And do what you have to do. And I'm not saying do what you have to do and do stupid crazy stuff. I'm talking about take personal responsibility, improve your morals, get strength, and do something with your life. Don't just be one of the herd. This is Mike, no stress Mike.com.